welcome exiles to day number three update on the cast on crit reap inquisitor and the big update today is Vulcanus and we're not reap anymore that's the big bummer well right now we're trying out purifying flame in instead currently I was rocking with reap for a decent amount but once we started getting to red tier maps I really kind of felt like the damage was eh, it was just not good enough I felt like a lot of times I was missing enemies like because of the reap going in like a 210 degree slash a lot of the reaps would like there'd be a blind spot where the reaps didn't hit so it just felt kind of inconsistent and I wasn't really liking that so I ended up switching in a purifying flame here to test out and i think i've been liking this a lot better it's felt safer because we're putting conk ground down, down all the time and also it feels like it hits harder it's better it's more consistent single target so that's what we're doing right now it's ultimately a pretty much the same build it was just a gem swap we did and i think it i think it's an ultimately for the best uh with the vulcanus we are now fire conversion so i have changed a decent amount of the tree around to account for getting fire conversion this right now is just kind of a uh, scuff setup for our Doriani's uh, Corrupted Soul because I didn't want to put th put it here and screw up some of these other passives around here. And I didn't want to put it here because I need Avatar of Fire. Currently that we have Vulcanus. Eventually we're going to get Zoth's Blood and that will allow us to put this Doriani's Jewel back here and then we can kind of fix our pathing a little bit. And then we're eventually going to get a Cluster Jewel. But this is just kind of the in-between stage. Currently Zoth's Blood is pretty expensive because the Blessings of Zoth's are very very overpriced right now i think there's a lot of demand or not overpriced i guess there's just a lot of demand for uh people using blessings of zoff so they're actually quite quite expensive um so anyways we're gonna eventually be able to farm up a uh zoff's blood and that'll allow us to kind of fix our current in between stage tree of being elemental damage now so the main things we switched today were getting Vulcanus, switching into elemental damage, and then uh, a bunch of the rares I kind of upgraded. For example, I bought uh, just a base chest piece that was a six link for like 40 chaos. Getting to just a random six link should be around the, the, the range of 30 to 50 C to get like a strength in base. That's the easiest to color. And in base might be the best if you want for to go for the the highest like EHP total. But for right now, just a cheap strength in base, and you can color it to two green, two red, two blue, pretty easy. That's what I would go for. And then for our rares, I'm gonna hover over them. I updated my rares just a little bit, chopped around for some uh, fractured rares for the amulet and the boots, and crafted a little bit. I and then I self enchanted these boots with the lab with the new and an improved lab that was a lot of fun and then actually i hit an enchant for a shield charge attack speed which isn't like the best enchant but it's a little bit of quality of life for moving around eventually we're going to upgrade our helmet to a inward eye so that's going to be another big upgrade we're going to get probably tomorrow or um yeah probably tomorrow because we're going to get we're going to get to Sirius tomorrow for the showcase today for what we're going to do is we have a uh drox which is the awaken level four drox these are the conquerors you do right before your first serious fight so that's the one i set up for today let's get into the map and i can show you what we look like now that we've switched into uh purifying flame and also since we've switched into um uh elemental damage instead of the uh fizz damage we were doing solely also i should probably go over real quick the links we are at we're cast on crit fire pen inspiration uh, purifying flame cyclone and elemental focus currently i'm igniting people with a secondary setup with combustion using arcanist brand assassin's mark and wave of conviction as for auras things we swapped out were pride we swapped out for a purity of fire this is what i'm tinkering around with you can get away with skitter bots for more damage but i think purity of fire feels better for sustain with righteous fire and then also um herald of ash got swapped out for a uh, war banner so those are the current setups for or as we have now i'm gonna go ahead and alk this 91 quant minus 11 i don't really want to do minus 11 that seems like that'd be kind of rippy uh, monster life monster attack and cast speed less recovery rate. that's that's super brutal for us too uh aoe is bad but honestly this is pretty okay 70 quant um i'm gonna go ahead and throw in some uh fragments here because we do have some extra Xeria fragments just chilling around we might as well use them um and let's get into this map if i can click the right thing here i think i can put these in right yeah i can i like this new ability to roll the uh, conqueror maps it gives you a lot more chances to keep your sustain up if you roll the high tier maps you get for free it's really nice for basically continuing to chain the high tier maps 
I'm a little bit scared for when we get when I get out of this same area where I have every map is influenced because that's a whole bunch of quant. Uh, eventually, we'll be in the case where we just don't have all that quant, which will be a big bummer. Wow, we got hit really hard there at the start. I always feel like the start of mapping with with the render issues is always like super sketchy because you just you get hit by random things you just don't even see or monsters you don't even see. I have a bunch of gems I swapped in that are still leveling. So, look at all these. Mobling some exsanguinates because exsanguinates are uh, like it's pretty popular right now, and so selling level 21 gems is a decent little extra currency. The effect right now you're seeing is uh, automaton Herald of Ash effect, and this is this is the one thing I like about Herald of Ash. Whenever I have Herald of Ash in the build, I always like a lot of the effects, and it's pretty much like whenever you change it out for somebody something else. Oh, I should put the brand on the right guy. Whenever you change it out for something else, it always feels um, like you're playing somewhat of a different build, just from swapping uh, something simple. Yeah, let's finish this guy up. It's kind of rippy, but we're fine. Okay, Villa map, your stalkers, grab that stuff, and let's go into Drox. What's one more? As we're up in himself, I should have saved some flasks. We have no diamond flasks, so our crit's a little bit rough, but I think we're gonna be fine. Tank whatever that is. Probably shouldn't tank that. I probably should be procking my fortify too, but yeah. Okay, he's gonna go into his phase or not into his phase. Is he in his phase? Health bar disappeared. Okay, he's in a phase. I think I killed. I still don't know the Drox fight if I'm supposed to go around killing these flags or not. I'll figure it out eventually. Um, I, but I always whatever he, whenever he goes into his phase, I just go kill the flags. I don't know if it's just they only affect him if he's like, if there's if he's sitting on them, or if it affects him just to have multiple flags up or what. But another big upgrade we need to do is get CDR up to 14%. That's a huge damage multiplier for cast on crit characters. It ends up effectively letting you get a lot more casts off once you get 14% CDR, and we will get that either on the belt or our boots. Um, so that's going to be another big upgrade we have on the horizons, but... Oh, I was trying to throw here too hard. Alright, cool. So that's Drox. And I... <laughs> I face tanked the fist at the end when I was half held. I didn't even realize it was going off. Oh, mistakes were made. So anyways, that is the current setup of the build. Um, It's been... It's been pretty solid going and doing a lot of ultimatums. I've noticed when I've getting, gotten into like really rippy red maps, it's like... The one worry I have right now is getting stun locked. I do die to stun locks, so I'm gonna probably try to figure out something to do with stun locks. Either that's gonna be increasing the total EHP, so we just are harder to get stunned, or potentially swapping out the boot enchant from the 2% regen to the 80% stun uh, avoidance if you've killed recently. Because right now that's the main thing we die to is stun lock, and then I guess if I let myself get down to half health and then not realize that he's doing his giant fist attack after his death. That'll kill me too, apparently. But for the most part, uh, we're we're level 91 at this point. We've been cruising through red maps fine. So I think we'll probably keep we'll be able to keep leveling it without too much trouble. So, anyways, that's the day three update. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I'm going to be putting the uh, link to my profile in the description. Hopefully, it, oh, during the week this coming week when I'm not streaming, I'll have more time to try to figure out what's going on with Pacemen or figure out an alternative giving you guys paste bin links other than just telling you to go import my character because that's that's the best i can offer right now so sorry about that anyways thanks for watching guys peace out